Hello you boys and girls, my name is Hot C and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included where last time we worked a bit on our food supply because within our base it actually gets a bit on the warm side uh, at least where we have our plants so we had a new farm here for salad one for pinch pepper nuts uh, we also built one for shove walls although we actually do not have any shove walls and we proceeded with uh, rocket missions to get more data for more research and today I want to focus a bit on our energy production to make it a bit more efficient and I think what we will do is um, dig a bit of uh, space out up here Let's do this. And then we will basically dig this whole part out. That should give us quite a bit of room to have a, a bit more structured um, energy farm mainly for natural gas and petroleum uh, maybe we will also have backup with with coal in there um, so let's wait for the duplicates to dig everything here out and in the meanwhile we will probably also make a bit more progress on the research um, we are still stuck here uh, because of missing uh, data banks from outer space so with each rocket mission we should get back a few more so that's going on on the side up here they already managed to dig out a good portion of the space so now let's be a bit clever about it and we will have a floor here on this level and then i think on the lowest uh, floor we want to have one two uh, petroleum engines that should be enough we want power control station um, we want a door um, and then we need a way to get power in here and we want to have a battery so and let's bring all this together this up and of course this then goes down something like this and actually um, here 
can have something like this. And up there, we can have the next floor. Where we will have... One... Two... And those can be... Actually, let's do it this way. Um, have a power connection here, here, nothing there. not work so we probably need it like that sense connect 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 and here we are a bit tricky because we will over so that we can have a battery here and a hole there making these two floors one room which means we will have there and then I think we can cap it off here and here on top let's see we will have a bit of coal then this um, we need that and then of course also there we will have that and once again connect like this Should work. Maybe 
maybe have a bit of a higher gap here and that basically means we have uh, power rooms that uh, we can uh, up the efficiency with this power control station um, that we will actually not make out of lead. Um, we will make that out of gold. Because we do have a bit of gold. And they require refined metal. And for that we can use either gold or copper. Because we have gold volcano here. Copper volcano there. Copper Volcano is probably uh, better suited in the, in the long run. Uh, here we have an issue. And I'm not sure why. Because it should not freeze, we probably also should not overheat here. We will see. Alright, they have cut their work out with this setup. And the problem we have here is that we get brine water in here. Um, which basically is a problem because then they will not grow and we have actually to remove the, the water which also removes the polluted water But eventually we will have no more brine down here, then this problem should be solved once and for all. And we will take that plastic. Uh, as you can see, we are once again over 100,000 kilocalories. But it's still too much fluctuating for, for my taste. It goes up to 180, but then also drops below 100, which is not uh, what I would call a stable and sustainable situation. Um, hmm. Things a bit. Uh, get that cancer. Get that there. Um, so we have two more in there, um, which means they also need to have something to oh, stand on. Okay, so maybe just the one on this side. Um, we can connect like this. And probably have to have a way go up there Uh, 
this. And we can have a lamp there. But we will need to dig out this part as well. And then have door in here. All right, then uh, once again, let the duplicates do their job. And once all this is finished, we can decommission that part down here. I think we still need to do a bit of um, uh, yeah, we need input and output here. That's the that's the input. Let me just pull it down here, and then the output. Make that simple. I went there and glitch this. And then, of course, here. for that battery ah and I forgot to connect these ups and if we want a battery in here it would also be good well right so that's all planned out so let them do their job while we just lay back and wait let's see then down here we still have the problem with the wrong type of water but it is not that much anymore and I changed the axis now here it's from the top because I have a bit of a problem with the morale and uh, basically going in here without a suit uh, breathing the uh, nasty uh, gas in here not the best thing to do but up here we have everything uh, set up um, however currently no natural gas no hydrogen and of course uh, we still need to get the petroleum the manual way which also requires power so we are a bit strained um, but I went around and ripped out all the, uh, the, the old uh, setups uh, and can also get rid of this and we don't need that anymore and then I think on, on this side we could actually have hydrogen generators um, because with the with the control power station we can do tune-ups 
and then a 60 watt coal engine can produce 900 watt thousand petro kilowatt or two thousand watt two kilowatt petroleum generator can produce three kilowatt and I think here we have basically when we have to tune up we get 50% more power out of the same uh, amount of fuel and seeing that we are currently a bit short that's definitely a plus that we should make use of uh, especially considering that we get the, uh, the basis copper to gold uh, we get that from for free or almost free from our volcanoes and we do have quite a bit of lead lying around that we usually are not using for anything else. So uh, we did a bit of uh, clean up uh, or power up or improving of the efficiency for our uh, energy setup and it will not be the end of uh, our energy uh, situation changes uh, unfortunately did not really manage to get another rocket off the ground but I went ahead added a second fuel tank um, because if we want to go out further we need more petroleum um, we need more stuff and I think what happened in here is somehow we got um, brine in this pipe um, and that broke it. So overall uh, it's still enough work for our duplicants uh, and the power situation is a bit um, yeah, uh, strained uh, but on here we have 20 or 19 cycles still to wait uh, on here it's 16 uh, but we do have we do have quite a bit of coal and you might remember um, when we were at the stage where we had natural gas and coal and natural gas guys went out we powered the whole base purely on coal coal levels went down but we managed that as well and I think now we are in a much better situation uh, because uh, we are using we are producing more energy uh, per unit of coal gas petroleum hydrogen whatever however on the other side i think our base also consumes a bit more power so we will see where we go from here in the next episode so don't forget to tune in then Goodbye.